karibu tena siku ya leo. Hii ni siku ambayo Mungu ameweza kutu uh, bariki nayo. Ni siku ambayo mfalme wa tukufu ameweza kutupa nafasi tena ya kujumuika pamoja na kuweza kuongea mawili matatu ambayo yatanifungua mimi na wewe akili yetu. Ninaamini unabarikiwa. Nataka niamini kabisa kwamba Mungu amekuwa mwaminifu kwako na kwangu pia. Namshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya wana wote, watoto wote wa madhabahu ya Angels of God Ministries International. Watoto wangu au watoto ambao Mungu amenipa wote mlioko nje ya nchi. Nabidi mfahamu ya kwamba distance is not a barrier. Unaweza kawa nchi tofauti na mimi nilipo lakini muunganiko wetu wa kiroho hau ingiliani na umbali wa kibinadamu au wa, wa mazingira mimi na wewe we are connected fully na nakupenda i am praying for you wherever you are in america upo kenya upo uganda upo rwanda uh, popote ulipo qatar uk god bless you australia german jana nilikuwa naongea na watu wangu kutoka german uh, wengine wa australia all over the world Mungu abariki. I love you. I am praying together with you. I am believing God pamoja na wewe. Siku leo ni siku nyingine nataka niendelee na au nianzishe kitu kizuri kipya. Tunaendelea na mlolongo wetu wa deliverance lakini leo nataka niongelee uh, uh, nataka ni muongelee Lucifer. Kiutaratibu kabisa. You see ni vibaya sana kupigana vita na kuto kumjua adui unayopigana naye. Wakristo wengi au wachungaji wetu wa makanisa hawatufunuli au kutufundisha namna ya kuweza kushindana na yule muovu. Most of the men of God all over the world wanatuambia tu about the kingdom of God lakini kumbukeni uh, vita yetu sisi sio ya damu na nyama we are fighting vitu. Now I want to unfold nataka ni funue ni, mf, ni mvue nguo anaitwa shetani Lucifer I want by the time unamalizana na kunisikiliza unaelewa kiundani kabisa adui unaopigana naye anawaza vipi utendaji kazi wake ukoje kila kitu ambacho anakifanya kwa nini anafanya hivi I want you by the time tunamaliza uwe na unafahamu how he comes anapokuja unajuaje dalili zake akiwa anakuja unafahamu vipi kwamba this ndo kile prophet alionieleza kwamba adui akiwa anakuja huwa anakuja kwa namna hii so ili niweze kukueleza kuhusu Lucifer unabidi kwanza tukubaliane kwamba Lucifer yupo you see leo sijaja kumfundisha mtu wa dini nimekuja kumfundisha mtu ambaye yuko rohoni mtu ambaye anataka kushinda vita anayopigana mtu ambaye anaamini Mungu anaweza akampa mwanadamu uweza wa kupambana na ufalme wa giza i want to talk to someone ambaye yuko open minded sio mtu ambaye anakuja na doctrine zake alizofundishwa leo we kama doctrine yako mafundisho yako pembeni and listen to me because nataka nimfunue adui kwa namna ambayo labda sijawahi kumfunua publicly kama leo i want you by the time unatoka hapa sidhani kama nishae kumongela lucifer kama lucifer on, on, on tv kama hivi so today i want to talk about lucifer na nataka nikueleze in details mpaka siku ambayo ya kwanza kabisa lucifer nilimuona na mbali na hapo siku ya kwanza alinitembelea nyumbani nilipokuwa ninaishi the devil alinitembelea so be with me and relax let me teach you the bible concerning the devil now tunabidi tufahamu kwamba Yesu Kristo alituonya juu ya huyu tunayemuita Lucifer kiingia katika biblia yako Jesus Yesu Kristo alimzungumzia Lucifer mara kadhaa au yeye anayemuita shetani kwa sababu uh, 
he understands kwamba there is a devil somewhere ah uh, tukiangalia kitabu cha luka 10 18 mpaka 20 luka 10 18 mpaka 20 a uh, biblia nasema akawaambia okay naomba tuanze mstari wa 17 luka 10 17 mpaka 20 ndipo wale sabini wale watu sabini waliporudi kwa furaha wakisema bwana hata pepo wanatutii kwa jina lako walikuwa wanaenda kuombea watu watu sabini walienda kuombea watu na walivyokuwa naombea watu kwa pepo walikuwa wanawatoka watu then wakasema wakarudi kwa bwana Yesu akawa na furaha Biblia inasema ndipo waliporudi Sabini waliporudi uh, Sabini wakiwa na furaha wakisema Bwana hata pepo wanatutii kwa jina lako. Yesu akawaambia Nilimuona shetani akianguka kutoka mbinguni kama umeme. Tazama nimewapa amri ya kukanyaga nyoka na nge na nguvu zote za yule adui wala hakuna kitu kitakachowadhuru lakini msifurahi kwa vile pepo wanavyowatii bali furahini kwa sababu majina yenu yameandikwa mbinguni now jesus anajaribu watu wamekuja kuongelea about an event au matukio wanarudisha ripoti nzuri mbele za Mungu mbele za Kristo Yesu anamwambia daddy we have prayed for people kupitia jina lako na tumeona spirits demons mapepo so biblia ina confirm kwamba kuna kitu kinachoitwa pepo biblia inasema hata pepo wanatutii kwa jina lako demons were cast out people walikuwa wanafukuza mapepo wanaambia toka kwa jina la Yesu mtu anatoka they were commanding demons with the name of Jesus lakini ukiangalia chini akawaambia So Jesus is trying to tell they are talking about demons here. Ah watu sabini wanaongelea mapepo. But Jesus is concerned haiko kwenye mapepo. You see you need to understand that part. Jesus is not concerned with demons. He's like mm, it is all right. Akasema mimi mnayeniambia haya mnayoniambia nilimuona shetani akianguka kutoka mbinguni kama umeme that means there is an event ambao anajaribu kuileta kwenye fikra zetu au kwenye fikra za wa watu sabini kwamba there was a time when lucifer au unayemuita shetani was in heaven kwanza unahitaji kufahamu jina lucifer ni jina lake halisi shetani ni character neno shetani ni character kwa mfano nika, <coughs> Yesu angesema nilimuona ule muongo akianguka kutoka haimaanishi jina lake ni muongo anaongelea atabia so the word devil it is a character neno shetani maana yake ni uasi but his real name is lucifer lucifer ikiwa inamaanisha nyota ya asubuhi the morning shining star ndo jina la huyu tunamuita shetani jina alopewa na Mungu ni Lucifer na Lucifer ukiangalia katika jina lake <coughs> the, the shining star ni nyota ya asubuhi ile inayong'aa asubuhi uh, mwangaza kwa namna lingine au unaweza kusema mbeba nuru the, the light bearer mm, anayebeba nuru God alimpa Lucifer when God was creating Lucifer alivyokuwa anamuumba Lucifer kwenye kitabu cha naomba tusome dakika moja so Jesus ame, ame, akawambia wale watu nilimona Lucifer akianguka kutoka mbinguni meaning Jesus alikuwa anajaribu kutueleza kwamba the Lord alikuwa anajaribu kutueleza kwamba there is a time when he was in heaven akaanguka twende kitabu cha Ezekiel taratibu me and you today tunaongea taratibu i want to take my time ili nikufundishe kwa sababu ili unielewe mpaka nije nifike nianze kuongelea experience zangu nilizokutana na Lucifer kwa sababu nimekutana na Lucifer sio chini ya mara 20 ana kwa ana mimi prophet David Richard nimemuona Lucifer sio zaidi ya mara sio chini ya mara 20 i have met him almost 30 times mara 30 na kitu katika maisha yangu i have seen Lucifer's face for almost 30 mara 30 na na kadhaa I have seen the devil 
I know that they I nimeongea naye tumekaa chini tukaongea kama watu wanaongea I know his thinking na hii yote sikwambii kwa sababu labda mimi I'm an agent of darkness maana kuna binadamu ambaye ananiangalia nasema eh nilikuwa nangojea jichanganye moyo hapana Jesus himself made the devil mara kiba Jesus actually alikuwa anaishi naye mbinguni God ameishi na Lucifer mbinguni so I'm not the first one kuonana na huyu jamaa so relax God gave us the privilege access ya hivi vitu na nataka nikueleze well, how I have met Lucifer Lucifer amenitembelea tumekaa tukaongea there are times when tumegombana tume argue kama binadamu kabisa wawili wanagombana kwamba wanatuna what huyu anaongea huyu ana we have done those things You see you need to understand here we are talking about a different dimension and anointing. Mimi sijua umezoea vitu gani but here me I did not come to talk to baby Christians. I'm talking about a dimension ambayo mimi mwenyewe nikikaaga juzi nilikuwa naambia watoto wangu kwa nini naenda kulala usiku hivi. Nikianza kufikiria yote ambayo nime experience kwenye maisha yangu na ujana wangu. Naishia tu ku 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 mimi mwenyewe najishangaa like what is this? It is astonishing it blows my mind sometimes me a boy seeing all these things it is an amazing thing like in all for the glory of Jesus Christ so katika kitabu cha Ezekiel na Ezekiel the book of Ezekiel au angana sema Ezekiel 28 kwanza mstari wa 12 uh biblia inasema mwanadamu ufanye maombelezo Umfanyie maombelezo mfalme wa Tiro umwambie Bwana Mungu asema hivi wewe wakati wewe wakitia muhuri kipimo umejaa kipimo umejaa hekima na ukamilifu wa uzuri ulikuwa ndani ya Aden bustani ya Mungu alikuwa mbinguni that is what it means so Eden Aden bustani ya Mungu kila jiwe la thamani lilikuwa kifuniko chako akiki na yakuti manjano na almasi na zabarajadi na shohamu na yaspi na yakuti samawi na zumaridi na baharamani na dhahabu kazi ya matari ya kazi ya matari yako na filimbi zako filimbi zako ilikuwa ndani yako katika siku ya kuumbwa kwako zilitengenezwa tayari wewe ulikuwa kerubi you see lucifer hakuwa malaika tu kama malaika au shetani hakuwa tu malaika wa kawaida ndio maana hadi leo Lucifer ana access ya kuingia weponi mwa Mungu mwana wa Mungu do you know kwamba the devil anafunga kama unavyofunga anafanya maombi kama unavyofanya maombi ukiwa unahitaji kitu kutoka kwa Mungu because kiukweli kabisa baba yake Lucifer ni Mungu Naomba usilete naomba naomba nirudie tena usilete mafundisho yako muda huu nisikilize until the end then anza ku ku ku, 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 ku comment kwa sababu kuna mtu anaweza a a a a ameshaanza comment relax i want you to listen to me to the end and then judge by yourself unachoongea kinatokana na uh, ukweli au sio ukweli it is you but just listen to me the bible inasema wewe ulikuwa kerubi ufunikai you see the character of cherubims um cherubs au cherubims ma, 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 ma kerubi kazi yao ni kufunika utukufu wa Mungu niliwaambia watoto wangu ukiingia weponi mwa Bwana in the throne room of God kwenye nyumba au kwenye hekalu la Mungu kuna mahali mbinguni ambapo kuna hekalu la Mungu ambalo halipo mbinguni pale ambapo binadamu walipo you remember mtu akifa anachukuliwa anapelekwa mbinguni God is beyond the heavens Mungu aliziumba mbingu na nchi inamaanisha kabla hapo kuna mahali Mungu alikwepo kule sasa ndo napokuambia when you get a privilege Mungu mimi nimepata chance ya kuingia in the throne room of God kwenye kiti cha enzi cha Mungu kwenye chuma, mahali ambapo God ame kwenye where there is the throne nimeingia mara kadhaa kule I have attended meetings nimepata a privilege katika ujana wangu ya kuhudhuria vikao in heaven
So ukiingia kwenye weponi mwa Mungu kwenye hekalu la Mungu ambalo sio mimi sio mtu wa kwanza kuingia kwenye ile hekalu. There is many people ukiangalia kwenye Biblia kwa Ezekiel aliingia, Daniel aliingia, uh, John, Yohana mbatiza uh, wa Revelation, Yohana wa Funu aliingia. Uh, Isaiah aliingia hata Daudi aliingia a lot of people entered in the throne room of God hivi vitu ni kwa ajili yetu na Mungu so don't be shocked eh? so when i got the chance nilipoingia in the throne room of God ninakumbuka kulikuwa kuna makerubi na makerubi ni wanambawa zaidi ya mbili zinaanza nne sita mpaka nane aha uh-huh. and then wakiingia in the presence of God wale makerubi kwa sababu Mungu ni mtakatifu na amejawa na utukufu kwenye kile kitu na hauwezi kwa namna ya kawaida kumtazama wanachofanya wanamfunika mbawa zao usoni mbawa zingine zinafunika miguuni they cover their bodies because makerubi wanashinda weponi mwa Bwana listen angels hawashindi muda wote in the presence or in the throne room of god malaika kuna malaika wako duniani kuna malaika wako mbinguni kuna malaika wako all over the place they are scattered in every dimension ya kiroho unayejua wewe they are angels everywhere hata kina mikael hawashindi weponi mwa Mungu muda wote ila wanaruhusiwa kusimama weponi mwa kuna malaika saba tu ambao they have access to enter the throne room of God anytime. Huyo ni Mikael, uh, Raphael na nan, uh, there are seven. I stack kwa taja leo watoto wangu wanajua ni shonga hizi vitu. Ah uh, kina Raguel, kina Ariel, all those angels they dwell in the pre- wako saba. Those are angels. Wanaitwa archangels. Lakini ukija kwenye makerubi, those ones muda wote they are in the presence of God. Na makerubi how Lucifer alikuwa mmoja wao. So Lucifer had the rank in the spirit ambao ilikuwa inampa access to the secrets of God. Weponi mwa Mungu. Lucifer had access ya kusimama mbele za Mungu na kuongea naye ana kwa ana. Ndio maana anaitwa kerubi afunika. He was covering the glory of God. Now tunaendelea kidogo hapo hapo Ezekiel 28 mstari wa 14. Wao walikuwa kerubi mwenye kutiwa mafuta na ufunikaye mwenye kutiwa mafuta na likuwa na likuweka hata ukawa juu ya mlima mtakatifu wa Mungu unaona na likuweka hata ukawa juu ya mlima mtakatifu wa Mungu umetembea huko na huko kati ya mawe ya Mungu when you enter the throne room of God there is the nilimwambia it is like on a mountain that the, the lile hekalu lipo juu ya mlima mrefu sana it is white in color the, the palace ilo ekalu kingia there is everything you can imagine ipo huko ndani kwa wingi wa uchuzi wako watu walikujaza udhalimu ndani yako nawe umetembea umetenda dhambi kwa sababu hiyo nimekutoa kwa nguvu katika mlima wa Mungu unaona kama kitu kilicho najis nami nimekuangamiza ewe kerubi ufunikae utoke katika mawe hayo ya moto moyo wako ulinuka kwa sababu ya uzuri wako umeiharibu hekima yako kwa sababu ya mwangaza wako you see mwangaza nilikwambia mwanzo yeye ni mwangaza the, the, cup, the, the light bearer mbeba mwanga au mwangaza nimekutupa chini nimekulaza mbele ya wafalme wapate kukutazama nimekutupa chini so jesus alikuwa anaongelea an event hii kwamba mungu alimtupa chini lucifer kutoka heaven akatupwa mpaka duniani amen now ukiingia okay, tena in the bible katika kitabu cha ufunuo tuendelee kidogo ni kuelekeza before nianze kuongelea experiences and all that wewe niweke msingi mzuri wa Biblia. The book of um, Revelation ufunuo 12 mstari wa saba. Biblia inasema kuli ufunuo 12:7 Kulikuwa na vita mbinguni. Mikael na malaika zake wakapigana na yule joka. So hapa anaitwa joka. You see he has many names ambao zinazo portray au zinazo ashiria character yake. 
anaitwa baba wa uongo anaitwa uh, joka ibilisi shetani uh, adui ana majina yote Biblia inasema kulikuwa na vita mbinguni Mikael na malaika zake wakapigana na yule joka yule joka naye akapigana nao pamoja na malaika zake haimaanishi kulikuwa kuna joka mbinguni relax ni malaika tu ambaye ameitwa joka kwa sababu ana tabia ya uasi uasi unaashiria ilo hiyo character ya nyoka okay nao hawakushinda wala mahali pao hapa kuonekana tena mbinguni nao the bible inasema nao hawakushinda that means walikuwa wengi kwa sababu inakwambia yule joka naye akapigana nao pamoja na malaika zake that means lucifer alikuwa ana control au anaongoza makundi ya malaika because he was an, alikuwa ni kerubi au ambaye yupo kwenye viwango vya juu sana so chini yake kulikuwa kuna legions majeshi ya angels ambao walikuwa pamoja naye na yale majeshi ya wale malaika ndo ambao Uh, 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 wapo naye mpaka leo ambao ni wanatenda kazi pamoja now biblia inakwambia kulikuwa kuna vita mbinguni that means vita ya kiroho ambayo tunapigana leo haijaanza leo because hapa inaongelea an event ambayo ni kabla ya mwanzo kitabu cha mwanzo moja moja hapo mwanzo Mungu aliziumba mbinguni before that this is an event iliyotokea before kabla kabisa ya Mungu kuumba dunia it happened that Lucifer alifanya nini alipigana na Mikael so there is an angel called Mikael ambaye ana majeshi yake alipigana na Joka au Shetani ambaye naye ana majeshi yake so angels to angels walipigana twendele So Yesu kule akaongea akasema kwamba msifurahi okay because nimemwona Lucifer shetani akianguka kutoka mbinguni Mhm Ezekiel 14:12 mpaka 15 I mean Ezekiel uh, sura ya 14 mstari wa 12 mpaka 15 unaongelea jinsi Lucifer alivyopitia all this Now tuendelee kidogo Now you need to understand katika majira yetu haya tunaoishi duniani mimi na wewe we are fighting the same devil this guy hajachoka this guy yupo kazini tena uh, anapingana na wale wote ambao wameibeba chapa ya Kristo yoyote ambaye amebeba chapa ya Kristo ni adui wa, adui wa wa Lucifer because the devil kazi yake ni kuharibu kuwa na kuchinja ndipo inavyosema Biblia he comes to destroy he is after ana hasira na watakatifu ana hasira na wana wa Mungu ana hasira na mimi na wewe because sisi tumechukua nafasi yake mbele za Mungu remember alikuwa anapendwa na Mungu umesikiliza ume, ume the book of Ezekiel umenisikia ume inavyosema jinsi Mungu alivyomuumba alimtengeneza akamwe all those beautiful things aliviweka ndani yake so he is now jealous ana hasira because he knows hawezi tena kurudi pale nafasi ile ameshaipoteza ameshahukumia hukumu yake it is done he is already judged so he what he wants anataka mimi na wewe tuanguke pamoja naye that is why he is trying by all means kuku letea shida frustration uh, all these things ni kwa sababu the devil anataka kukamata moyo wako alafu kikamatwa moyo wako amesha kuteka na kukamata. Now, Mungu amenituma nimfichue Lucifer kwenye majira yetu sasa hivi. Prophet David Richard. Lucifer umeniambia ni kwamba ni malaika aliyokuaga mbinguni. <coughs> Now, Prophet, explain to me uh, personally wewe umeweza unaelewa nini? Yaani teach me how to overcome the devil jinsi ya kumshinda huyu mwovu mstari wa korinto wa korinto mbili au wa korinto wa pili mstari wa 11 uh, mpaka mstari wa I amin mean, wa korinto wa pili 11 sura ya 11 mstari wa 14 inasema 
uh, ndo, uh, malaika wa giza hu huwa anakuja kama malaika wa, wa nuru au malaika wa, wa giza hujibadilisha kwa malaika wa nuru you see you need to understand lucifer has a character mwanadamu mwanadamu nitazama na hiyo character ni kwamba the devil does not come as the devil ay 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 lucifer haji kama the devil haji kwa vitisho yeye kama ye. the devil is smart he knows kabisa ili akukamate wewe wewe hupendi vitu vibaya you like good things anakuja anakuletea unachokipenda you see where tunapokamatwa sisi binadamu tunakamatwa kwenye udhaifu wetu the devil akishajua wewe unapenda fedha hatokuletea kitu kingine mbali na fedha the devil akishajua wewe unapenda kitu fulani anakuja nacho iko lakini it is not the original thing kutoka kwa Mungu anakuletea the fake thing but it looks nice you see not everything that glitters is gold sio kila kinacho meremeta ni dhahabu au kinacho ngara ni dhahabu you see there are other things ambazo zinapakwa rangi ya dhahabu lakini sio dhahabu that is how the devil does things he, he manipulates our minds he plays anacheza na fikra zetu na hisia zetu anacheza na na maisha yetu he plays tricks anacheza mbinu the devil is not powerful kwa sababu hakuumbwa kwa malaika wa vita he was designed to be a worship angel au malaika wa sifa mbele za bwana so he does not have military tactics hana mbinu za kupigana ila god alimfanya awe wise mwenye hekima kwa sababu mungu akiumba kitu anataka anaumba to the perfection to perfection kiwe perfect so lucifer ana kitu ambacho wanadamu wengi tuna, hatuna hekima ambayo ile hekima biblia nasema kwenye kitabu cha na cha cha Ezekiel ile hekima anasema hekima yako uliharibu hekima iliyoko ndani yako so he uses it the wisdom aliyokuwa amepewa na Mungu anai twist kwa ajili ya uovu <coughs> Mahali fulani Biblia inasema be wise as a serpent <coughs> but calm as a dove sio maneno yangu Biblia inasema muwe wenye uh, wenye hekima kama nyoka lakini muwe wa pole kama ua it is in the bible not me the bible kuna mtu mmoja aka doubt nilisema siku moja nikaona mtu ana comment Eti, ah tuwe wenye hekima kama nyoka it is in your bible are you fighting me or the bible fight the bible so the bible is trying to tell us kwamba the devil is smart he is not dumb he is not stupid he is not powerful but he is also not stupid sio mjinga lucifer angekuwa mjinga asingekuwa anateka dunia because jesus called him the prince of this world biblia inasema yesu wakati anakamatwa akasema sai imekuja Uh, mtawala wa dunia hii ana, atakuwa na nguvu juu yangu sio kwa sababu ana nguvu lakini kwa sababu nimemruhusu i have allowed him to do he has been given access it is his time to rule darkness will cover so the lucifer has been given privilege by god au amepewa the title ya kuweza kuwa the shetani aliye now prophet david richard talk to me experiences za kombilitat siku ya kwanza nilipokutana na Lucifer na niliwaambia wale ambao wanafahamu kwa wale ambao ni mara ya kwanza uh, i don't know ila mara ya kwanza nilipokutana naye ilikuwa saa 9 mchana ilikuwa ni siku ya Jumatatu ilikuwa mwaka 2019 na, na Disemba tarehe nane kama sijakosea ilikuwa ni Jumatatu if i'm not mistaken nilikuwa weponi mwa Bwana I'm praying and all that then nikaona nikaona nilioaona and all that then malaika Mikael akashuka for the first time ninamwona Mikael maishani mwangu I, I nilikuwa nimeona other angels before but not the archangel Mikael Mikael ambaye ameandikwa in your bible mimi nimeona na naye sio mara moja mara mbili mara tatu I've seen the archangel Mikael nakumbuka kuna wakati mmoja Mikael ali nilichukuliwa na Mungu nikapelekwa huko nikamwona the archangel Mikael na majeshi ya, ya mbinguni I saw there is a day I saw him kwenye the field where wanafanya mazoezi angels where they are training and he's the 
is the trainer of all angels, all legions of angels kwenye vita. Mikael is in charge of the legions of heaven. Yeye ndo anaye control majeshi ya mbinguni and I've seen him a couple of times. So this for the first time naona na naye ndo mara ya kwanza akanichukua nikapelekwa mpaka kuzimu. Nikapita kwenye ardhi nilishaongea hivi vitu nikaenda nikaenda mpaka nikaingia kwenye chumba kwenye hekalu la Lucifer nyumbani kwake kabisa anapoishi nikaingia mpaka ndani tukaingia mpaka kwenye the throne room chumbani ambapo kuna kiti cha enzi kwenye eh, an open place tuseme kama a, 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 a big place kuna likiti la enzi alikuwa amekaa he was wearing full black alikuwa amekaa pale and then i i talked any lemon any for the first time and mimi mwenyewe nilishangaa kwanza hakuli ama andi lidos by the first time i am seeing lucifer i was like this is lucifer and unajua mimi mwenyewe was like ah, look at this guy huyu ndo shetani ambaye anasumbua dunia <laughs> actually it's in the book of isaiah tutashanga the first the day utaemuona lucifer utashanga maybe you kwa sababu nimekueleza au ndo ninakueleza hautoshangaa ila dunia itashangaa itavumia huyu ndo shetani you will see a boy a young man bwana mdogo utamwona bwana mdogo you will not you will, most of the people will not believe watasema there is no way this can be the devil the devil the devil is a boy a young man kijana mdogo sana muonekano mdogo tu bwana mdogo kama miaka 25 27 young man kwa muonekano but he does not go, grow old he's ancient ni wa muda mrefu because angels they don't our our zeki angels yani malaika kiumbwa leo pap the way alivyo umbwa ndo milele yote anakuwa hivyo so god when he was crafting him when he was creating him when he was making him ali alimuumba hivyo ndo yupo na muonekano wake ule ule mpaka leo the same he's a young man narudia tena he's a young man kwa muonekano yeah kwa muonekano don't quote me wrong kwa muonekano ni ana flesh ana ngozi kama msisi. Ha, eh? sio roboti, sio pepo, sio moto unayetembea hapana. Ana mwili, ana vaa, hayuko uchi. Lucifer has everything ulio ninacho ana macho, ana eyebrows hizi, ana nywele. Tena nywele zake fupi tu, low cut, nyeusi. But muonekano wake ukoje ni kama vile appointee half cast. Ndio ana muonekano So I saw Lucifer for the first time. Hiyo ya tuachane na. Now, mbele nika ni, baada ile encounter ya kumuona siku ile, sijawahi kuongeaga hivyo on public. Many people hawajui Lucifer alianza kuniwinda. Remember siku ile Mungu alinipa a privilege kwenda kule, nikapeleka ujumbe. Nilikuwa na malaika Mikaela alikuwa upande wangu wa kushoto, mimi nimesimama hapa Lucifer yuko hapa, akapiga magoti, aliishiwa nguvu, akapiga magoti, akawa ameshika chini. And then Mungu ndani yangu Roho Mtakatifu akaongea niliexplain ikasema sijui ilikuwaaje me there is no way ningeweza kuongea le maneno lakini nikamwambia yani nilivyomuona tu nikamjua ni Lucifer na nikapata jumbe kutoka kwa Bwana ni, ni kama mtu anaongea ndani yangu the spirit of god spoke through me nikasema Lucifer umeshindwa kwa mara nyingine tena Yesu Kristo bado ni, mf, ni Mungu bado ameketi kwenye kiti cha enzi Lucifer you umeshindwa kwa mara nilirudia kama mara mbili au mara tatu kwa maana Yesu Kristo bado ni mshindi na ameketi kwenye kiti cha enzi you have failed once again wakati ina, 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 nilipofanya vile baada ya pale ndo nikaanza kuwindwa Mwana wa Mungu nao nisikilize sasa hapa ndo mimi somo langu au dhumuni la mimi kuja kwako limeanza The devil started hunting me down. I started having nikaanza kuwa na attacks. Naongelea not easy attacks zako ambazo someone goes to sleep and then I say, "Hey, nimeota, nimeona." No, no. These were physically attacks. Spirits, demons walikuwa wana op wanatokea, wanaibuka mbele yangu. Yaani I'm sitting like this unaona a spirit inatoka baharini from the way inavotoka baharini i'm seeing it mimi nipo hapa bahari labda iko dakika 30 au 40 from where i stay actually 30 from where i stay but you seeing demons are coming from the ocean wanatembea mpaka wanafika hapa i am seeing them coming there was a time when nilikuwa naona demons are flying dragons You see these dragons, you know, scared dragons. I've seen dragons. 
real life dragons not dragon cartoon dragons dragons ambao they spit fire wanatema moto wale ma dragon i have seen dragons i remember there is a time ambao nilikutana na mmoja ambaye anaitwa Hades 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 yupo au wengine wana kwenye biblia ameitwa mauti Uh, okay, kuzimu na ma, kuzimu i think hades yeah hades and death kuzimu huyo anaitwa kuzimu kuna spirit inaitwa kuzimu inaitwa hades hades ningekwambia muonekano wako but not today i've met all these i've met medusa there is a woman anaitwa medusa wanamwabudu huko wana, wana the greek wale watu wa greece wanamjua huko greece ni greece they know this one wagiriki wanamjua medusa i have seen toro au taurus ambaye taurus yupo kwenye hizi horoscope hizi mambo ya nyota nyota kuna yule ngombe i have met that one that is why it is you have be very careful wale ambao mnafuatilia fuatilia sio nyota zenu kuna sio sijui cancer sagittarius sio nini 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 vigo all this nonsense stop that nonsense all those are demons principalities i have met taurus i have met nilikuwa nina orodha ya demons ambao nimekutana nao na mpaka ikafika point sijui kama bado ipo niliandikaga chini i, I think ipo ngoja nianze kusomea some of the demons hii hapa list hii nili niliandika January 2020 mwaka jana nilikuwa najaribu kukumbuka demons niliokutana nao kuna wa kwanza azahel not azazel azahel kuna aza kuna Medusa Medusa nilikutana naye akiwa na watoto wake wawili ana mabinti wawili kuna mmoja ambao the, the, the mfalme wa there is a kingdom nilikutana nayo ambayo ni the bird king anaitwa hivyo hivyo mfalme wa wa mande, wa ndege i don't know how to put it but ufalme wake watu wana vichwa vya ndege miili ya binadamu wana mambawa kama ndege yani kichwa kama labda cha ndege kama mnyama ndege ana yule ndege like a crow uh, kunguru and you know vichwa vya ndege <laughs> yeah 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 it is alright tuendele kuna azaba a z a b a r azaba nimekutana naye kuna torus nikakutana na torus ana kaka yake naye ndo anaitwa toro torus and toro and then nikakutana na sh- shadow kuna mwingine anaitwa shadow nikakutana with a grave spirit kuna mmoja ambaye anaitwa kaburi kwa Kiswahili a grave he is called grave ivo ivo nimekutana na leopoditis mwanamke leopoditis ni mwanamke she moves like a like ni, ana mwili wa wa pack wa a leopard chui nimekutana na mafuvu mengi nimekutana huyo hades nimekutana na zeus nimekutana na mammon nimekutana na belzebub nimekutana kuna spirits nilikutana nazo ambazo zina vichwa vita, mbwa mwenye vichwa vitatu kuna mwingine nilikutana naye mkono wake ni yani kuanzia hapa mkononi kuja huko chini kuna ahama ahama sio kwa kiswahili ni nyundo au dude kubwa kama nyundo mkononi nimekutana na two priests makuhani wawili wa kuzima anaitwa Ruda and Bura I'm giving you names Ruda R U D A and mwingine anaitwa Bura B U R A Yeah there is a spirit inaitwa Scorpion kuna huyu jamaa mwingine sita kumuelezea at confused there is a monitor lizard nimekutana na lizards hao wanaitwa uh, kenge kenge mijusi mijusi there is a kingdom in a, in a spirits like they are like reptiles and they speak wanaongea funny thing yeah so a few nimekutana na a spirit inaitwa diablo ushasikiaga diablo in your life there is a diablo now diablo ndo yule ambaye watu wanasemaga ni shetani ambaye analimkia it is linilimnyama lina pembe mbili jekundu rangi yake that shetani mnemo naga yule anachorochora that one actually it's not lucifer anaitwa diablo hivyo hivyo in the spirit they call him diablo or the devil sio mnamuita wengine wanamuita devil but his real spiritual name anaitwa diablo there is a time nimekutana na spirit ambao imeandikwa kwenye the book of revelation anaitwa what is apollon au abaddon 
I met Abaddon. I have met Abaddon. So you come to realize one. I've seen a lot of demons. When I don't remember. I have seen so many spirits. Kuna siku ni mkutan na mze ambaye ni mze a spirit. Ni mwanadamu alo ishigi actually ni misri ule mze. He was an Egyptian. A scholar. Alikuwa mdadisi mzuri. A scientist. Ambaye alikuwa mengea kwenye magano na Lucifer. Haka chukuliwa alivo kufa, haka chukuliwa, haka badili eshu, haka tengnezo. Anaishi mbaka leo. He's very well known in Egypt. Uko yuko misri wanamjua. And he's still, anamtumikia Lucifer mbaka leo. He's actually the one controlling wakati ule nivu enda. Alikuwa yendo, anaismamia wanaita library. Maktaba ya kuzimu. There is a library in hell. Ambao inaandika, inamambo yote unajua. Records. History ya dunia and all that. Kuna spirit inaitua robadi, kuna kina mena, a lot of demons ni mekutana nao. Now my point ni nini? After all these, hizi spirits zilivo kwa zina nitembelea, zina tumwa na baba yao, kiongozi wao, uyo Lucifer. The devil aliachilia demons. Now ikafika point, ikashindikana kuniwa, akatoa order. Sikiliza. Ilitolewa order, ilikuwa mwakajana tare moja. Naongelea 2021 tare moja. Mkesha wa tare 31 moja kwa mkia tare moja. Ilitolewa order, amri, duniani kote kwenye ulimwengu wa roo. Naongelea duniani kote. Yuzi mwana mungu, you know me sometimes when I see people, uh, ambaye wana wana most of you mnae ni follow from nje ya nchi and all that nikiwa nikiona the way Mungu anavowabariki kupitia unachokiona our clips and all that huduma yetu inanipa sana faraja because i have gone through things ambazo akili ya kawaida mwanadamu haiwezi kaelewa definitely mtu a, re, a religious man mtu wa dini lazima atapingana na nacho zemu. But a spiritual person might understand. Labda, kwa kipimo fly. And even naongea, I'm summarizing things. But I am writing a book. Ninaandika kitabu. Sio kwa sababu nataka feather out of the book. No. Naandika kitabu trying to compile yote nilio ya ona. The book itakupa yani after reading that book by mwakani na then tutakuwa tuna launch kwa kitabu next year so mwaka wa 2022 na then tutakuwa tuna na, na officially na kwa sababu Mungu aliniambia release the book when you ukiwa umri fulani so umri huo unafika nikiwa next year so najua ninachokuambia now that book inaachiliwa na inaenda kwa inaenda kueleza details names experiences Eh, hapa sijaongelea kuhusu taifa langu la Tanzania kuna ulimwengu upo chini ya Tanzania hii river uh, pale tang, Lake Tanganyika kuna nilishaendaga ndani ya Lake Tanganyika unaoita kule kuna watu wanasema kuna mlango wa kuzimu Lake Tanganyika sasa kule mimi nishaenda mule chini i went with the angel Lamuel tukaingia huko Tanganyika kuna mambo niliyoona ambayo wewe na mimi tunabidi tuyajue it is crazy Lake Tanganyika it is diabolic and demonic i think Lake Tanganyika ni hatari. And then kuna river, uh, lake ile wanaita ni Lake Victoria. Mimi nimeingia kwenye Lake Victoria, nimeingia Lake Nyasa na Lake uh, Tanganyika. Haya maziwa yote mimi nimeingia ndani yao. Alafu wewe niwaambia kwa mtu ambaye labda ndo ame tune into ghafla na shangao what is this? Mi sikwaga mchawi wala mshirikina wala ni mimi Mkristo tu. My whole life I've been a Christian ila sikwa nimeokoka nilivyookoka Mungu akaniachilia na neema yake. So mimi I'm not speaking kama wale ambao mimi nilikuwa mchawi zamani. Nao nimeokoka ngoja niasimulie nilichokuwa nafanya na kuona hapana. Mimi have experienced these things in Christ. Ndani ya Kristo yes. God took me. I'm not the first. Ingia kwenye kitabu cha Ezekiel kama msikilize Ezekiel labda utaelewa. The man was navigating in the spirit all, like every day. So it is possible God amenipa mimi the grace to reveal mysteries kuangalia the world as we do not know it this world to nourish anima picha picha the real thing it's in the spirit So order ilitolewa 
order ilivyotolewa akasema Lucifer ikatolewa mbio ikatolewa uh, wanasema tangazo yoyote ambaye atamuua kijana ambaye anaitwa David Richard ambaye ni prophet David Richard I'm mwenye mwanzilishi wa Angels of God Ministries Dar es Salaam scenes and all that details zangu zote zikapeleka nikaona matangazo katika ile mwangalo actually kuna kampuni za uh, za habari in the spirit if you do not know kuna magazeti ya kila siku kuzimu unajua magazeti 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 I'm talking about magazines kila siku kuna vyombo vya habari every day kuna taifa habari kama unavyosikia hapo tunaoangalia tv taifa habari hata kuzimu kuna taifa habari kuna waandishi wa habari so waandishi wa habari wakalipwa duniani kote in the spirit now ninaoangalia waandishi wa habari i'm talking about demons mapepo majeshi ya mapepo waka toa uh, tangazo kwamba yoyote atayeweza kumua kijana wa picha yangu nakumbuka nikajiona hadi sura yangu kuzimu kwenye ime ma everywhere my face was all over then wakasema this boy has to die immediately ndani ya masai 24 yajayo this one has to die wakati huo nishakutana na Lucifer mara kadhaa so nimeshajua ameshajua haniwezi so now he ordered now that is when nikaanza kuona all the spirits all every spirit mwana Mungu the bible when he talks about uh sijui akina hawa anaitwa akina nani akina mamo na akina belzebub akina dagon akina baal akina na, all these devils and demons and gods they are there nakumbuka i i met the 14 uh, the seven spirits is it 14 or 7 seven? seven spirits 14 spirits Yes, ni zinaitwa spirits. Spirits. Yaani hao hawaitwi mapepo majini wacha wanaitwa roho. There are there's 14 spirits. These are 14 gods, miungu 14 ambayo ina 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 ina, ina, ina ipo duniani. Dunia hii hii tunaoishi ina miungu 14. Ah, kuli ya bahade. Mimi siongelee uh, mapepo wengi wanajiita miungu i'm talking about certi- certified yani ile ambao wana wamekuwa verified with a blue tick in the spirit there are 14 14 gods ambao hapo ndo kuna athena zeus olympus there uh, wapo 14 belzebub is one of them na wengine 14 these spirits walinitembea they walk on water in air wanatembea jua hewa you see when demons appear wakiingia same a demon akiingia hapa anatembea kwenye sakafu hii though ana anapita kwenye ukuta and all that, but is walking on the ground but these spirits they are walking on air ana kiingia hapa hawakanyagi chini they are 14 14 they came to me they couldn't do anything I have met huyu mnae muita Bermuda nilo alikuwa anaambia watoto wangu ambao pale kuna kuna ile the Bermuda triangle sio uh, bahari ya shetani and all that. there is a dragon in there I have met the great serpent chini ya bahari ambayo that connects the all the oceans duniani there is a spirit ni bonge la joka linaitwa the great serpent the great serpent listen to me not lose the great serpent it is a gigantic massive makuliba ante kuli antalia adusha dear jesus it is huge that that snake i have in my katika i have seen snakes maisha ni mimi nimeona i have seen a snake ana vichwa 13 in my life vichwa 13 i have seen a, a, a big giant snake ana vichwa 13 I've seen Bermuda the great dragon yolopo kwenye the Bermuda triangle. I have seen I mean memona the Leviathan. Watu wanaemjua Leviathan sio mnamuita Coxwelli the Leviathan. I've seen the Leviathan is a kraken. A, but let me tell you. Two spirits ambazo they they shocked me. Alikuwa Leviathan na this great serpent. There is a spirit named the great serpent. The great serpent. Wana Mungu nikaongelea the great serpent. I I was taken into the Pacific Is it Pacific or Atl- yeah, the Pacific Ocean if I'm not mistaken nikaingia kule i saw a snake 
nilikuwa nipo with an angel actually that day nilikuwa with an angel mikaya i saw dude lina pinta akuli bahada I saw something I've never seen in my entire life. As I'm speaking right now, even tears are coming in my eyes because I am remembering these events and they are there. I feel, I feel, I feel, I, it's like I'm now in Zile Vitu Vina replay. I saw the great serpent. When I talk about the great serpent, this thing I, I was explained, it connects to every continent in Yua. It is that serpent you poke everywhere. Ilo joke. Yani somehow somewhere ni kama vile dunia ikifunuliwa. Yani kama AI for example, example AI, tuseme dunia ni AI au kitenes. You know a tennis ball, kitenes au mpira. Yeah. Now, ule mpira ukigawanya ukikatwa vipande viwili, pande huko na huko. Alafu ukifungua ukute joka limezunguka mule ndani. That means that snake is everywhere, right? And the great serpent I live. It is everywhere. And it is it lives in earth. God help me. Jesus. Ah, Tanzania is not ready. You guys are not ready. You are not ready. We are, we are not ready. I can't. I can't continue. Let me end here. Leon Taishab, God bless you. I love you. Shalom. Mungu abariki sana. I can't continue. It is too much. It is too I'm not you are not ready to hear this. It is enough.